Testing, 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 testing. This is the test of the awesome broadcast system. If this had been an actual awesome occurrence, this test would be followed by instructions on how to enjoy the awesomeness. But this is simply a test. So, yeah, you know that there is an awesome broadcasting system looking out for you. And that's what it's all about. It's about getting hooked up. And this thing is going to hook everybody. Look at that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get out of this. And we'll get into some background info. So I finally got Daggerfall set up to install on my computer. So I got a Windows 10 64-bit, so like maybe this will help some people out who can't get it to work or something. So I just, so you just download it. And what I had to do was I had to right click, go down to properties. And there's this little thing here you have to click on. And I think it asks, it asks for admin approval or something, but you know, just uh, click whatever it is. It's something special, so you'll know. And you may have to like, I don't know if you have to push advanced, you may have to, to look in there, but that's what it has to do with, so you just click that. And basically what it's doing is it's enabling it to run on your computer because it says it's from an unknown computer, so you have to give it permission. So, <clears throat> after you do that, you just run Direfall Setup. This is going to be... I'm going to do some other stuff besides that. I'm going to show you how to set up DOSBox and stuff. Get it looking pretty. So, install it. Um... I'll run through the Eye of Argonia thing too. I've seen people having props with that. So um, after you install it, uh, uh, just go ahead and start it up. Don't mess with any settings like outside of the game yet. So you just start start the game like wherever the shortcut is. You can you can go through here and do it. Create your character. And it's like create however many characters you want to you want to the Eye of Argonia to work for. But since you only got six save slots, you're kinda you're kinda restricted. But the thing is is Eye of Argonia is sort of like a one time thing. You can't you can't start a new game and run it. It's it's only going to work once, so I recommend just making one guy. Just take it some time. Uh, making the right build. You get through the opening. When you start in the dungeon, just save the game and exit. Okay, you can set this. You can set your key bindings up. You can. You can do the mouse look. You can do full screen. Don't mess with the detail. I think you can mess with the with the volume and the stuff like that, but don't mess with the detail. Don't touch it. So save it, exit. That's when you run the I have Argonia. Now it's what it's going to do is it's going to go through all the save files in here that you've got. So like. 
So you made your guy and you saved him in six slots. Well, it's going to do all six slots. So, like, you know, you can, you can theoretically make more than one guy. And, you know, just save it and then exit. Start it up again. Make a new guy. But, you, like, since you only got six slots, it's, you're kind of limited. So, but it gives you, it's going to give you more options if you make a sucky build. So, because, uh... Once you run it, you can't do it again unless you completely uninstall Daggerfall. You have to completely uninstall it, so and then reinstall everything again. But I mean, it's only it's only like, like what 400 megabytes or something. So, but still, like it's just a pain in the ass, and your stuff gets lost. Like your guy is gonna be lost. That like if you had been playing it, dude. So. You know, just keep keep that in mind. It's it's like a one time thing. <clears throat> so like a lot of people having trouble with it. Once you've run it once, you can't do it again. You have to uninstall Daggerfall. So just know that. So you've installed you've installed Daggerfall, you got the I have Argoni installed. I'll show you how to make sure it's working. Uh uh. Unless you saw it when I was exiting the gameplay earlier. It was that big red line that covers up the detail. That's how you can tell. So let's let's get into the, the DOS box configure. So of course you're going to want to mess with your AA settings and your filtering settings. Just max everything out. I do the AA and I do it to uh, override or whatever it is. Override application settings. Or something. I just, just force it, force the AA, because because it makes a difference, you know. Even though you're going to be using a a um, I think it's a shader or something. Let's find out. So it gets installed in the games folder. Bethesda Daggerfall. So this is the one we want to mess with. There's another one right here, but I think this just hooks DOSBox up to Daggerfall, because when you take it out, and then you try to start the game, it just opens the DOSBox prompt, so I think that's what that is. But there's nothing to, there's nothing to mess with in here anyway, so this is the one you want to mess with. So these are my settings. Now when you first install it, it's going to look like this. And you can look and you can see it's got some differences. Some stuff has been changed. One on the right is my edited one. You just have to go in here and mess with stuff. I recommend going to that uh, website, the wiki or whatever. Just look up Daggerfall install. And there's like a little, there's an info section because the this version does not come with any documentation on options you can pick. It just says you can do it, so it doesn't tell you exactly what you can enter. So for that, you're gonna have to go to that website and look up the look up the stuff. So there's three three main things here that I'm gonna talk about, which is full screen. See how it's changed over here. That's gonna it's going to make whatever resolution the box is, it's going to stretch it to full screen. So that's what that does. But since the full screen resolution is the same as my desktop, it's going to fill the screen. So like a smaller resolution, I think it's going to, I think it's going to make a smaller box. So, you know, it's just your preference. I like the full screen, so that's what I do. So that's that's two right there. Full screen to your your resolution for your monitor. Now the next two are, are probably the most important ones. Output and uh scalar. So output it starts out uh, 
the default surface, which is that's just the basic Daggerfall look. It's also got uh, D draw, and I think it's got glide, and I think it's got glide something else, glide in B or something like that. So, oh, it's, you got those two, but the thing about that is, it's, uh, for me, anyways, um, these these scalers only work when my output is set to D draw. So, like, I don't know why that is, but I'm sure somebody knows what's up. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong, but when I enter anything else, but, um, D draw, like, even with, uh, surface, I can't change, I cannot change the scalar. So it's it has to stay at normal two times, and if I try to start the game, it just crashes. But when I when I switch the output to D draw, then I started switching them. That's when I started working, and they're working. So because it's like I mess with I've messed with this before, so I know like what this stuff looks like. Like that's why I like the uh, two times side. Now there's quite a few different scalers you can pick. Let's, uh, let's see if I can look this up real quick. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got uh, we got normal two times, which that's the the default. Then you got three times. Then you got something called ADV MAME two times then three times, then you got HQ two times and three times. You got the two times Psi, which that's what I use. Super two times Psi, which I don't like as much, but like I said, you know, just mess with the stuff. See what you think looks cool. Uh, it's got Super Eagle. It's pretty much like an emulator for like the... Seems like it's an emulator for like uh, the Sega games or something. Same same stuff like that. Uh oh, it's got scan lines. It's got TV. I don't know what the heck you would pick that for, but it's got them. So just like I said, look at look 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 this stuff up so you know what options you can choose and go through them. You know, try them out, see what you like. These are my personal preferences like on this side, whatever your screen resolution is, D draw, uh, a full screen true, and two times side. So if you do this, you're, you're pretty much going to get the same. Unless like you don't have that good, but even, yeah, you, you're, you're going to get the same, you know, unless you just don't have a 3D card or something, or you don't have some of this stuff. Like, I don't know how ATI stuff works, so. I'm just, I got NVIDIA cards, so. So that's the DOS box setup. You're gonna wanna change that stuff. Like I said, you're gonna have to look it up. <clears throat> it's got uh, documentation, but it doesn't really tell you about the stuff I was talking about. It just says you can do it. It doesn't, it doesn't say the options, so. That's why I'm saying, like, go to the website, check it out, uh, go through some stuff, you know. I've tried pretty much everything, and that's why I just end, ended up uh, forcing AA, and I think it's the anastropic filtering, it's maxed. So, but that's it, that's the only thing I, I upped, you know. So... Let's see, that's that's all set up. So you got your guys saved. <clears throat> you got the Ivergonia stuff done. You got the DOS box. Let's get back in there and see how pretty this thing is.
so you guys are going to have to judge for yourself, but I think it looks better. Like, even though it's widescreen, and this game was not made for this aspect ratio, so it looks pretty damn good. So let's uh, start this thing up. Hmm. Yeah, so I was sitting in a chair. So yeah, like uh, check it out. This is it. It's all that stuff we did. Like so you can you can see it made a difference. Like the stuff looks sharper. I know it looks better, man. Right? Like and it ain't like. This ain't like black and white stuff here, but you know it's it's important. If you wanna if you're gonna mess with Daggerfall, you need to mess with Daggerfall, you know. You can make this thing look pretty. It's not gonna blow your mind, but like it just like you know, it just it looks so like just blocky. You gotta That's what that uh, two times sight is it makes it look actually see that's an apple. I can never tell what the hell that stuff was. Hey, check that out. That looks good. Did not look this good. colors on everything. Nice sharp colors. NPCs look nice and soft. They're not all jaggy and sharp. That's... That's... That stuff's crazy. Let check the bed. The bed's got textures. That's friggin'... It looks like a sheet. That's so awesome. So, like, you can see the stuff that I did. Like, it makes a difference, you know, just, just fiddle with the stuff. You can make this game look pretty good. It's not gonna be anything like, uh, Dagger XL or, um, Dagger Fall Unity. Like, you know, I'm just still waiting, so I gotta do something, and I'm just like, dude, I had to freaking play Dagger Fall, so. And I finally fixed it. So like just to th just like a shout out to you dudes. Like if you're having trouble, that's what I did. And it works and furthermore, mess with the friggin' DOS box settings. Cause check out the NPCs now. Like they still look kinda blocky, but I mean it's kinda like the farther away. As long as you're not too far away. Like pretty you know, Nice and smooth. What are you doing, man? Don't run away. Like you can, see, you can tell a difference. Like check that out. Go on now. Like check that out, man. Freaking cool. It's it's good enough for now. Did not that good. It's like a cartoon or something. An old cartoon. The Hobbit. That's what I'm thinking. It's like The Hobbit. But you got the graveyard. Check it out. This one gravestone man, this thing. It's like everywhere, it's the same dude. And I cannot figure out what the friggin' dude's name is. It's the only one you can read. Here lies Hodge Hodge Flick something Hodge or is that an A? Hodge Al Al something. I don't know. 
so here lies. Yeah, this dude's buried all across this land, so yeah. You will see this grave marker many times, but like check out the how the textures, man. That's that is freaking cool. Like, it's not phenomenal. We're not talking mind blown here, but pretty damn good bit for a 20 year old game. Just from a couple of tweaks. It's real simple, you know, I'm just typing it, typing some stuff. Like, this game is still freaking relevant. It's still freaking relevant. What's this? I'll show you how freaking relevant this game is right here. Look at that. What? I'm gaining skill right here. I can just level up it's just by doing this. If I picked climbing as a skill. That's right. I'm gonna be like level 90 in a week just by doing this. Freaking climbing tombstones, man. What's wrong with that? Why is th why is this stuff not in games, man? Like we should be able to climb everything. I don't get it. Look at that. Just climb it. That's right. Hmm. Like it. Just climb the friggin' bushes. Climb everything. Just climb it. Check out the bushes too, man. Like that's one thing that the two times uh, it makes the book bushes look cool. Like they're not super cool, but like compared to what what uh, we were working with, man, it's freaking cool, dude. Look at that. That's freaking crazy. And just that's right. I'm still waiting for the Daggerfall Unity, but in the meantime, I will be amply satisfied. Like check that out. That that does not look bad. Does not look for good bad. Like that's serious. All this thing needs is just some crispness, some crispness, you know, and some some variation in the landscape. That's it. So like, Daggerfall Unity. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Or Dagger XL, whichever. Because apparently XL is still like. Something's going on over there. I don't know what's up, but it's not completely dead, so. Which is good, because Dagger XL looked cool. Like, it, it did. Like, you can, you can do it, it's just nothing to it. It's just. It's looks, you know? So, yeah, like. Didn't look too bad. It's just, like, you, you guys judge yourself, like, if it looks any better than the stock Daggerfall. And, like, when you're playing Daggerfall, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about trying to make it look as good as you can, because it's like, you know, it's aged well, but, uh, like, that, that looks, the freaking guard looks cool. Like seriously, he didn't look cool like this. I remember it being everything was gray. Didn't look didn't have as much color, so I don't know. Portraits look freaking awesome. The letters I don't know what the what's up with that, but it doesn't bug me, so you know. X's look funny. That's it. Like let's see. It. I think it's the I think it's the uh AA so but yeah you know, like you can see don't look too bad I think you used some new outfits but you just gotta go to another um province but since this is this is the real game like you can't just go wherever the frick you want like what there's an enemy. Where is the friggin' enemy? Come on, sucker. Want some of this? Where you at? Where are 
are you at? A guard is... He's not an enemy. Where's the freaking enemy, man? It's probably a bad or something. Freaking enemy? Is a freaking enemy here? Seriously? Yeah, sometimes, like... I don't know, it was a daytime already, wouldn't it? Sometimes when you're inside of a building and it's nighttime, stuff will spawn. So you gotta exit the building. Or something like that, like I've experienced it. Maybe maybe something had spawned and I went into it in or something, but like there's been stuff outside that I had to kill. So I remember that it was weird. But Come on, man. Where is this sucker? It might be some dude stuck inside of a building, actually. Like, because the void is a thing in this game. So it could just be some dude stuck in a building. Let's go to, let's go to some place and see if I can still run away from this guy. Nope. Help me. Help me. Somebody's trying to kill me. Look, it works. So it must have been some dude stuck. So this is one of the drawbacks of the uh, side two times. It makes all the squares look like X's. Even stars, they look like X's. Well, they don't like like X's. They look just, they just look really small. But there's, you can still see them. But it's like the sky ain't filled with a bunch of square white dots, so which that's pretty much a dagger for right there. But it does this to the town, so I don't know. It doesn't really bug me that much. But it's a thing. So you know, it's funky. Like so like how in, how in, um, Daggerfall Unity, all the dungeons so up, see? Nothing. All I got is graveyards, because I haven't found anything yet, except for Privateer's Hold, which is the starting dungeon. So, I gotta hit up graveyards. Get some money. Like, you can see the, like, how the textures. Looks nice, man. Nice and smooth. Look at that. Nice and pretty. I don't know, like, maybe maybe you guys saw Daggerfall look pretty like this, but... I mean, I have. You know, I've, I've messed with this stuff. I'm just, like, letting people know. You know. It doesn't have to be this friggin' blocky mess. If you install Daggerfall setup, you can do this. It's really simple. And you're left with something that looks better, you know, if you're playing this stuff. Whoa. So, yeah, just keep it in mind, you know. Mess with this stuff, it pays off. See? That looks better. There's always gonna be some jaggies in this game. Still gonna have some jaggies and stuff, but the scaler smooths smooths the textures out with the uh, anastrophic filtering max. It does make a difference. So, like I've tried it all, but like you can see, you can tell. Look at that wall. That actually looks like a wall, kind of. I don't know. I think it looks pretty. I've been playing this game for 20 years, so. But 
yeah. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and some hints at making this game like friggin' better, you know? Because it's important. If you're gonna play Dagger Football, it needs to look better. And that, I think that looks better. This definitely looks better. Now, in the summer, the ground's gonna look friggin' cool. And everything else is gonna look cool. Cause, like, there's trails and stuff. And the... The two times side. Like, yeah, it just makes it look cool, man. Check this out. That looks friggin' awesome. That's a pretty good looking bum right there. That's an awesome looking bum. Look mighty fine there, sir. It does, man. Like, seriously. That looks friggin'... Friggin' daggerfall, man, this game. Look at that, just sticking her tongue at me, or just big lips, or what? At least you can see them, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, check it out. None of these guys like me. I'm like, I don't like St. Tony's priest, so like, everybody at the church hates me now. Like, check out his cape. I like your cape, man. Like, so you can see, you can see, it looks better. I can. It's like a cartoon or something, man, almost. Let's see if this chick will even talk to me. Yes, see, look at that. That's freaking cool, dude. If you have ever played Daggerfall before, you know that looks cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And we have this dude. Yes, that's right. The freaking praying dude. Freaking prays all day and all night. He just sits here and prays the whole time. Doesn't even eat. Just sits there. That's it. And he looks pretty damn cool, I think. I, I really do. Yeah, he looks cool. So look at that. It's freaking awesome, man. Daggerfall. There's free, free, free awesomeness right here. Just gotta mess with it. Just gotta mess with stuff. No. This is definitely a time where something free messing with a little pays off, man. Big time. Look at that. Like, I don't even think it looked this good on the Voodoo. I had a 200mmx. It looked freaking so awesome. But I don't even think it looked this good. It may have. Because what it did was it turned everything into to a... I forgot what, what the Voodoo used. Was it Glide? I don't remember. It turned everything into 3D. So, like... The walls wouldn't shake. See how they're kind of wobbly looking. It's because this game was made before they actually had 3D cards. This engine isn't even really a 3D engine. It just like simulates it through something. Yeah. That's what I understand. But still, you know, you can you can mess with it, mess with AA and stuff. Yeah, it's getting night time. Better get back before the bad guys really come. I've just been messing around in this first town. I need to find it here in, cause that one, we're not one. That one in that rented room, and the room that gave me, I can't uh, get stuck in it. Friggin', it's just it's one of those little friggin' Econo rooms or something. Like, check it out. It's just like this little box with the bed. The friggin' bed doesn't even fit the damn room. Like, it sticks out the doors so, like I can't get out. Let's go see what happens. Let's 
see what happens. Let me go into the shop and sell some of my stuff. Actually. Yeah, I still got time. Let's do that real quick. We gotta find the shops. Find us the shops. Oh, bad guys. Yeah, come on, sucker. Since you got the bad guys, dude, they look cool. Look at that. It's freaking crazy, man. It looks like a claymation rat or something in Daggerfall. That's, that's so cool. We love it. Better not have poison me either, sucker. Or get an disease. My dude's, my dude's like super susceptible to disease because I'm trying to. I want to be a werewolf, so. Once you get turned, you're immune to, to disease, so. The bank. Look at that, that's a pretty damn good looking dead rat right there. If you know anything about dead rats in Daggerfall. That's a damn good looking dead rat. Look at that. I didn't cut his tail off. Mm. Payback baby. Look kitty. Hello kitty. Say something. This cat never talks, man. Come on, cat. Say something. Out with it. That's a good looking cat too. I don't know. Cats always look kind of funky. Let's see. I'm trying to find a shop to sell some junk. Nothing. Supply store. I can sell my stuff here. Ooh. Want well, a blacksmith though. There's a blacksmith here somewhere. Up, up. Hmm. Let's try to sell these guys first. Okay. So yeah, we want to get to Sucky Shop because he's gonna give us more money. Yeah, that's better. He'll give us more money than the other guy. It's like a, it's like a formula kind of thing in this game. We gotta figure it out. to you. So I don't know, you see the paper doll yet? It's pretty damn nice. Pretty damn nice. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Just from messing with a couple of things. So like it, I don't know, the bowstring, I think it just, it doesn't show up in any of the shaders, so. It only shows up in uh, maybe the double A. It may be just a lasting it, a lacing it, or whatever the hell it's called. Too much, but like you can see, the armor looks nice. I right, check that out. It looks really nice. I think it does. I don't know. Sell some stuff. You want to buy some stuff for me? Come on, sucker. So you get skill better if you sell things one at a time. Because the more you do your skill, the more chance it is of going up. So you sell one thing at a time. You don't sell everything at once. So like that. Look. Just got some skill for that. Skill for that. And if you sold them all at the same time, like, your skill isn't going to go up as fast because you're only using it once to sell all that stuff, so that's why you sell each thing separately. And since I cannot use axes, look at that. It's a lot of money there, buddy. A lot of money. Ah, uh, see, like, since my, since my mercantile skill sucks, I'm getting shit, but uh, it'll go up. I'm gonna keep this bow. I think I will keep it. Let's see, look. That's how much it's worth. That's how much he's getting me. Now, if it was a cheaper shop, he'd give me more. 
but I kind of feel like screwing around, so I'm going to just keep this. See what he has for sale here. I can sell armor at the. See, I got a bunch of armor. I gotta find a blacksmith. But I gotta get a friggin' horse first. If they're too damn much. Look at that shit. 2,000 bucks. Thanks, man. Damn. Forget you. I want a friggin' horse that bad. Two thousand bucks. It's a friggin' ripoff, man. How about a Kishit suit? You got one of those? I'll take a Kishit suit. Friggin' just worst shop ever. Two thousand bucks for a horse. I've never paid that much money for a horse ever. It's crazy. The frick. Two thousand bucks for a horse. It's only worth a thousand bucks. Tails up with that. Come on, man. Nothing. Your shop sucks. Try to make it before everything closes. See what you get. Actually, buying horses, it didn't matter where you get it. They're all the same. Friggin' two thousand bucks, man. Let's, let's see how much he actually wants to. Two thousand bucks. What a get the frig out of here. Your stupid horse. Just give me a get dang kajit suit. Okay. All this stuff, man. Capes. You know, capes. Seriously? People gotta mod that stuff in now. But like, nope, it's in here. All this damn clothes. Just clothes and clothes and clothes. And I like, check this out. I got this shirt from the first dungeon. I don't even know what the hell it does, but like, it's just cool. For your magic shirt, just just like that. It's got everything's random. Like just completely random stuff. And there's so much stuff like Check out all these things you can put on your guy. Look at that. All this stuff. That's two. Two of everything. Plus you got your armor. Which you can enchant all this stuff. Or it's, it's some of it's enchanted. Like the Daedric stuff, you know. But then there's stuff like this that I just found. So like, just... It's, it's, it's insane, man. Just the amount of shit you can get. Like, if... Everything you had almost was like enchanted. It's just crazy, dude. Like, and you'll still get the living shit kicked at it too. Trust me, you will. Like, I don't care. That's why I'm going werewolf. That's right, baby. Look, it's a cheap shop. Small ones tend to be really cheap, so hopefully. Yep, sweet. It's gonna be a cheap horse watch. Cheap ass fucking horse. Really? Two thousand bucks for me too? No, oh, thousand bucks. See? But it's cheaper. So, like... You don't normally buy stuff from a cheap shop, but since it's a horse, it's not gonna matter. It's just too much money. Too much money. Oh, that wagon's only 167 bucks. I could buy that. Hmm, what should I do? I think I should identify this shirt and sell it. I need a horse, man. I want a friggin' horse. But, like, check that out. You can see that it looks better. Look at that. Look at the friggin' whatever those things are. Straps. Straps definitely look better. Yes, they do. I don't really want, I just want a friggin' Keshit suit, man. That's what I really want. 
can get a damn Kijit suit. But yeah. Come on. Be cool. Be freaking tight with me. Nobody's got a Kijit suit in this whole damn town. It's just not right. It ain't right. Try to find a blacksmith before they close. Okay, here we are. I think that's the blacksmith. Let's try to make it. Or the list. Run. Man, my dude's got to pass. Look at my stamina. Yep, stamina is a big thing in this game. It's like you pass out. The guard's gonna come get you. And you gotta pay a fine, or you gotta like, oh man, that's fucking general stores again. Ah, oh, great, it's expensive as shop. That's just terrific. Maybe he'll have it, cause it's... Let's see, see, look, he's got an elven sword right there. So they, they got the best stuff at these places. But this stuff is expensive as shit. Watch this. Let's see how much. Nah, not too much more. Still, like, you don't want to buy stuff here, really. Unless it's a kitchen suit. Just, just, that's what you gotta get, man. You just gotta get it. It's one of the things you just gotta get in this game. Come on, just give me a kitchen suit. My ward will not be complete until that. Or at least the beginnings. Nope, nothing. Here we got one more shot. Oh. Yeah, see this dude? He's got more stuff. He's got more shelves in here. Let's gonna explore the house. I guarantee he's got more shelves. Yep, right here. Come on, give me a kajitsu. No. No. I think the cycling's been been fixed. Cause like, yeah, I think it has. Cause you can swim and stuff, and like that's that's how you can tell if the cycling's messed up. Basically, the cycling is because these games were made like they're just they're totally freaking out on our computers. Like they just freak out and they can't handle it, so they screw up. So you gotta make your computer slow down. Make it stupid so like the games work. So yeah. Look, cheaper shop, gray. So I think yeah, the cycling has been messed with because like, I was swimming early, it was working, so and that's how you can tell, like, if your cycling's messed up, your dude can't swim. Check that out. Never actually seen the back of those things like that. Friggin' crazy, man. What else do we got? What else do we got? Come on. Did it suit anybody? Nothing. Nothing at all. All this stuff I'm just shopping. What the heck? Like, seriously, this is a role-playing game. Dungeons and stuff, I'm friggin' shopping here. The frick! I'm a guy, man. It's just I don't know what to say what this game does to me, man. It just makes me want to shop for stuff. And like this is another thing that's cool about this game, man. It's, it's freaking shops, dude. There's so many shops in every town. Like it's just random. Everything's random, so like it's fun. Like if you like shopping and stuff like with personally I don't really like shopping but like I don't know I can just imagine some people just freaking going nuts like just freaking there's no freaking blacksmith here man seriously come on give me some love here we got no blacksmith uh, I think that's the thing about this this city that I don't like this whole first town it doesn't have a blacksmith so you can't repair nothing so we're gonna have to move on hmm. let's 
see, maybe I'll hit up a graveyard. Hit up some graveyards, but regardless, I need to sleep. Ah, <sighs> if I can make it to my inn before I pass out. So, like, if I pass out, the guards are gonna, like, find me, or they're gonna try and kill me. Like, if I can't pay the fine. So, like, there's no jail in this game, I don't think. You just get killed. They, they find you, or they kill you. There's no jail time and breaking out of jail or, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. You don't want to pass out. If you pass out, make sure it's either in a dungeon or outside of a city. Or I think you can... I think even if you're in the inn that you rent, like, you get busted, so... Man, are you serious, dude? So lost. It's a pretty big town for a small-ass backwater town. Pretty much what this is in this game. So, like, these, I think they're, like, burial things. I don't know. Maybe they're, like, pins or something. They're friggin' everywhere in this town, so... I don't know what the frick. Fountain looks... Fountain looks good. I don't see got water up there. It's interesting. Never noticed that. Okay. Maybe I have... So, yeah, when you're... When you're tired, you wanna walk. Just walk. Don't run. Just walk. Okay, I think this is... I'm a fighter skill member. I can sleep in this place if I can still get in for free. Yeah, the inn, the room they gave me, you get stuck in it, so. Yes, thank you. So, like, if I trained, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's, let's, let's see what happens. So, I'm gonna save this real quick. Check this out. I'm gonna train a skill. What shall it be? What shall it be? Swimming? Hmm. We shall do. I like dodging. I think dodging is a thief skill. Yeah, it looks like that. Hmm. Okay, so it's going to be critical strike. Watch, I'm gonna pass out. Look at that. Uh. Yes, I get it. So, like, I woke back up, but nobody came because, like, I'm in my own guild house. Now, you could basically rest. You can just push rest, and when you wake up, you'll be in your bed, but... Like, if you want to go up there and, like, act like you're role-playing and stuff, you can do that, but, like, it doesn't matter, so. Because I'm in the guild, I can, I can rest here, so. And you'll just, you'll just wake up in bed, or, like, right next to the bed, so, yeah. Just, uh, something to think about. So, yeah, there you go. Rested. That's a nice skill gain. Now those skills are gonna make you level, but like everything you do makes it go up. It's always like sneaking and stuff. The stuff went up. So let's get the frig out of this place. I could actually train again, I think. Yep, I don't even think I have enough money. How much money do I have? Where's my money? I have... Ooh, I got enough. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll wait. I need my money. I should actually be buying spells, but... Uh, I'm gonna sell this stuff. Get some more stuff.
gonna get one next to a big town, which is those light colored ones. So there's dagger fall right there. So the big towns are the light colored ones. That's that's where you're gonna find the best shops. Tons of shops. They're gonna have a blacksmith, I guarantee you. So we're gonna go. We're gonna try the farthest one first. And let's check this place out with all the blacksmith. Sell some of the stuff. Okay, yep, yeah, it's open. Hopefully they have a blacksmith in there. Look at that, man. It's pretty good looking rock there. Pretty good looking rock. And it makes the little ponds look cool too. Like, it just looks cool, man. Used to old school dagger fall dude. That's freaking awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Look at that. Freaking awesome. They actually look like bushes, kind of. That are really flat and stuff, but it's who cares? Nice, nice. Let's see. Do you know? hit up some dungeons and see if we can live through this because my guy sucks big time like actually I kind of need to get a wagon first let's get a wagon southwest so you want to get it marked on your map so that shit's gonna show up now Right there. South. East. Run for your life. Run. They got burial things here too, or whatever the frick they are. I don't know what the, at least you can tell what they are. Or like... They look like something that looks not like just... Weird stuff. Which, that's how it used to look. Some of the stuff you couldn't tell what it was. But now, definitely, definitely you can tell. Hopefully, it's gonna have. Hopefully, I can afford a wagon, because that's what I need. Maybe a kitchen suit. Eh, that's not too bad. Take it, I need it. And a kitchen suit. Look, it's got an elven bow. Or silver. Silver bow. Nice. You can find that stuff in the dungeon. It's a silver. Some kind of knife. I think it's a short bit. I'm sure we just get rid of that bow I got. Who cares? No Kajit suit still, man. Seriously, you guys. You guys just. Where is your business ethics, man? Come on. Give me what I want. I'm a paying customer. Okay, we're gonna go hit up some dungeons. See what we can do here. I just, I can't get over how pretty this thing looks. Like, this looks really pretty. Super friggin' pretty. Okay, this may be a short trip, cause like, I don't know how good I'm gonna do here. And like walking to this place, you do not want to experience that. I don't have enough time, so forget it. Now if you pick ends, I think you move a little faster. But camping out is free, and since we're not going too far. Yeah, like in, if you if you're fast traveling and you're going at long distance, you want to pick ends because you'll get there faster. I don't know what it is. Maybe setting up camp takes takes a while. It's just a thing in this game. It's it's a thing, you know. Okay, here we are. The witching hour. This stuff could spawn anywhere out here. Anything. Look at that, look at the sword, man, the 
thing looks really awesome. Like seriously. Just like I could swim with my sword. Swimming with my sword. Yes I can. See like I think you're supposed to be able to swim sideways, but it's not doing it, so I don't know. How. But it seems like the cycling's it's set right, because like I've ex it's been a lot worse, you know. A lot worse. Cool to just love this. Man. I freaking love this. So spooky, man. And spooky. So yeah, I sneak around a lot. It's my skill. Sneaking. I can sneak. That's a pretty good looking bush right there. Pretty good looking bush. Now when the when the summer comes, it's gonna look freaking awesome, dude. Okay, let's, let's get in here and do this. Yeah, see, I think cycling's fixed because sometimes you would like uh uh, maybe not. See. I don't know what the frick that is, but it's it always seems to do it. Like, until you're in the actual doorway. Oh, bad guy. See him? Bad guy right there. Right there, just waiting for me to come kill him. Ah! Attack! Yeah! It's not an actual werewolf, I don't think. Some good stuff for all this crap in the wagon. So we don't have to carry it. Maybe I'll keep the bow with me just in case. We'll keep this in the wagon as well. For all this junk of the friggin' wagon. For this, keep that. This the wagon. Okay, we're ready. So that's a uh, spawning, random spawning stuff there. Let's do this right now. Let to uh, save this. one dude in here because like bats really bats and rats come on man give me some love here it's free love bats and rats they look cool though but still just come on man nothing treasure Bank friggin at a uh, graveyard. I don't usually get junk unless it's at least like worth. If it says it's worth like maybe 500 bucks, I'll pick it up. All the armor and stuff I get those. So, um, it's just too many stories you gotta hit up. It's hard to find, like, only place you can sell some of the stuff is, like, pawn shops. And they're hard to find. Yeah, free money. Yep, take that. Nope, don't want that. Those are, like, actual ingredients to make stuff, like, 
you actually use that stuff, so... If you... That looks freaking different, I don't know. Didn't look like that good. Maybe it did, I don't know. Freaking awesome. Look at that texture all over that thing. Back in the day, it was just brown. Like, from what I remember, of course my computer sucked, but, like, doors didn't have textures, or they were just, like, the crappiest textures. Everything looks so much crap here. It just looks awesome, dude. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so, we're done with this one. Yeah, we could just keep doing this. Keep doing the same dungeon. I don't think it is We just keep doing it. But I don't want to go to a different one. Let's see what the other one looks like. We're just trying to get enough money to get a horse in case. And repair our stuff. And I got to buy some spells and stuff like that, so like Watch how much you want to bet that dude's buried here too, but there he is. That's him. Here lies Hajj Fatih something. He's freaking. Maybe he's just got chopped up into a bunch of pieces. They just. I don't know. But. Oh, there he is again. Freaking everywhere. Or, I don't know, maybe it's just a real popular name or something. Always wondered about that. That's probably just because that's the only tombstone you can actually reach, so... Come on and climb the friggin' white thing, man. Come on. Okay, so we're done here. Let's go to the next dungeon. Mind if I look a dead tree right there? Yes, sir. Still got some green on it. You can actually tell what it's supposed to be. That's what's cool. Like back in the day, half this stuff you couldn't tell what the frig it was, man. Like, it's just cool, dude. Like that looks freaking awesome. I think it looks awesome. be out there anywhere just watching me. Just watching me walk up here. He's been following me. Following me up here. Stalking me. Freaking werewolf out there is stalking me. Come on man, he's coming after me. Climb off the freaking bush. Come on, climb up the bush. Hurry up, damn it. Come on and climb. You gotta line it up. Perfect. Okay, come on. Come on now. What? There we go. Thank you. That's a cool looking graveyard. Look at that. No lights. Spooky. Spooky. That's a cool looking one. See, like, you couldn't see. You could not see stuff like this, like the letters. It was too, like, great. I don't know if it was because the monitors, like... Nowadays, 3D cards, they support, like, lots of different colors. Deeper colors, so... I don't think that stuff supported it, so it looked... It looked great out, man. You just gotta... You gotta mess with your stuff. Do you uh, set up full color mode in the... I think it's the resolution settings. Like it's got limited, but you can set it to full color. And that's what makes it look cool like this. See, like, I think maybe. Yeah, see the cycling? I don't know. Who knows? Just like I'm strafing sideways, I'm sneaking. But it's going really slow, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just imagining things. I freaking sneak too much. I admit it. I admit it freely. So, go in this graveyard and try to kill. 
kill something. That looks better. I can confirm that. That looks better. Yes, it does. Nothing else out here. I'm gonna get me in here real quick. Yeah, you gotta save this thing. Constantly. You gotta save this game constantly. Because death is around every corner in this game. Especially for my That guy's a freaking wuss. I think I screwed up when I made it, but screw it. I'm sticking with it. Oh, we got people. I'm gonna get behind stuff. We'll shoot a bow at me. Come on, sucker. Right here. Oh. Gotcha. Look, he's got a map to a dungeon. Gold looks pretty good. Take that. I don't think we can wear those. Nope. Can't wear that. Can't wear none of that. Yes. It's a map. The Haunt of Loth. Lithogan. The Haunt of Lithogan. Which, like, if I went in there, I'd probably die in like five seconds, so. That's for later on. Some of those big dungeons are for the quests, so... That looks pretty damn fine. Good luck, another map. Nope. I hate these damn things. Do I even want it? Screw it, I'll sell it or something. Yes, I'll take that. So, 200 bucks, yeah. That's, that's a good round number. They're not going to give you that much, but... Probably like 75 bucks. That's better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. Just bats, really. More freaking bats. And rats. see a side view. A side view, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. What you doing? I'm just gonna walk straight. Gotta sneak up on him. Check that stuff out. Now, sometimes, like, when you touch these things, you get to see these, so, I don't know. I think it's happened to me before. When I have my click fest, I start clicking on everything. So, yeah. Nothing. Pretty boring dungeon. Nothing but rats and shit. So at least this one has a dude. So we can camp this. For loot. We can camp it for loot. Something is spawned, it'll say like it said, you cannot fast travel in the interior. So, yeah. Okay, let's save it again. Because I don't know how far this pushing it's gonna do. What the frick? You know, sometimes that happens. Don't know what it is, but who, can, who gives a damn? And sometimes there's like a door on the side of this thing that opens, and there's a bat in there, but I don't know. Just wait. Let's check that Oh, he already heard me. When they open the doors, that means they're coming for you. So equip bow and 
Let's see what we can do here. Oh, oh too late. Screw you, man. Screw friggin' you. Come on. Come on, pull out the damn sword. Took long enough. Yeah, you gotta wait for them to actually pull the stuff out. It ain't like insta equip. It's freaking cool actually, but yeah. It's the feature. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I'll take that. We're gonna equip this. Yes, I got a hat. I got a new hat. It's freaking awesome. Yes. I still got the suckiest crap. Suckiest freaking crap there is, dude. I just got nothing but leather. What the frick? It's freaking me out. Still got no freaking healing spell. What's the freaking deal? Let's get out of here and rest. Yes, we're freaking out. Like there's the annoying sounds that's not present in Daggerfall Unity, but it's just part of Daggerfall. It is. It's the torches. When you do stuff near torches, it freaks out. I don't know what the frig it is, but it happens, so. Well, if you're near torches and you do stuff, sometimes it just does it. Hopefully I can sleep here without getting mugged. Screw it, just gonna, I'm gonna sleep for like a whole day. Yep, I knew it. Well, all I can say is I hope it either is or it isn't a werewolf. Okay, what is it? Where is it? Come on, sucker. Right here. Right here. What is it? It's a freaking scorpion. I'm out of here, dude. I'll tell you right now. I'm gone. And like, I don't think zoning into the dungeon is gonna make a difference. Like, he'll still be out here. Where what is it? It's a person. Yeah, if it was, if it was something else, you'd hear it. There he is, right there. What the frig is it? Is it? It's, a, it's like a, it's like a warrior. Let's pull out the bow. Get some bow action on my head. Oh. Okay, come on now. Pull out the friggin' bow. Some bow shooting right here. Oh. oh. Oh, I gotta equip my arrows. Well, what's the problem? I already th thought I already equipped them. There we go. That's shooting, so I'm missing them. Because my bow shooting sucks. Maybe it's getting clips. Just clipping on stuff. It's not hitting them. Come on, man. What, what's the freaking deal here? Is he even going? Oh, he sees me. He's gonna shoot wolves at me too. And he's gonna hit me. Oh, I got him. Getting him. Getting him. Getting him. Well, it's like a... Oh, man. That's it. Let's move in for the kill, baby. Yeah, it's the arrows with the thing. It's just... It's just basic arrows, though. They don't have, like, Diedrich arrows and stuff. Okay, it's, it's taking it so long, man. Pull out the weapon. Come on, sucker. It's just a thief. Or a rogue. I'm gonna kill my ass too. It's a friggin' bard. 
That's one tough bar right there, buddy. And I gotta do sword. Yes, I do. This sword is freaking waxed. It's waxed. So messed up. Ooh. And some new. Some new shoulder pads. Let's see if this helmet is better. Well, that one looks cooler. Okay. Ah, shit. Maybe not. And I can't use it. What a piece. What is this thing? Like leather? A leather metal helm with horns. Interesting. That's what it is. So like, look, check. Do you see that? I just switched to my wagon. From that dude. I drop the stuff on the ground it'd show up like there'd be a bag of stuff so like and if it was dropped in his inventory it would not say this body has no treasure but I'm half dead now and I've got no healing spell what the frick man come on give me some love here game Forget rest again oh shit Oh, it's just a bad. It's probably gonna kill me though. Let's try it with the bow. I better luck with the bow. I better luck with the bow. Giant bat just died. Oh, that's nice to know. So I guess I can go back to sleep. All right. Let's try it. Yep. Sure enough. Maybe just two. Yeah. That's good. Oh, I can make my way back to that town and sell all this crap. So yeah, I like uh, just, just a little gameplay representation. Look at that, man. Freaking cool. That looks cool. That looks cool. Totally different than what it did at night. It's freaking awesome. So atmosphere, man, this game. It's got atmosphere. I think, like, the cartoony look makes it even better, man. Like, I, th I think, like, the the photorealistic stuff, I don't know. Like, I dig it, but it's just, that's all, that's all everything is now. It's just, like, trying to be realistic looking. I think you need, uh, need room for imagination you know and I think that's what's good about this because all this stuff is just representations and stuff you know you, you can add your imagination to it you know just come up with stuff like like I was freaking out about maybe getting chased by some werewolf stuff like that it's just cool you know this place is so friggin big like, you're gonna be doing a lot of friggin' traveling, so... I'll, like, check this out. It's a big city, like Dagger Fall. I'll check this, check this place out. Look at that. Mmm. Friggin' lots of skills right there. Let's see what the frick just happened. It's got tons of skills. Mm -mm -mm. How did my hand to hand damage go up? I think that's always blue. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh, it's pretty awesome, dude. So, like, check, check this place out. A freak. Look how big this friggin' place is. I wish I could zoom out. There's no zooming out in this. Oh well, we have to do it the hard way. Look at the side of this place, dude. 
gonna have to search this place for freaking blacksmiths. Look at this. Look at this place. Look at it. It's freaking huge. Look at it. Look at all this crap, man. It's freaking insane. Insane. Like, you could just move into this city and, like, just. just so much crap in here. There's just, like, so many of these cities. Tons of stuff. Okay, let's see if we can uh, see if we can get you to tell me some locations of some stuff. You think? Just do it until he says he he marks it on your map. No, 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 no! Come on, man, mark it. Oh, there we go. So that's now it's gonna show up. Oh, look at that, first try. I think it's, uh, sometimes they're retards, they don't lose shit, so, like, they'll be like, duh, hello, man. All I really want is these guys. Yeah, he knows. He knows everything. Here we go. Now I'll get these stories, too. Although, pawn shops are useful. Ooh, two of them. Two pawn shops. Interesting. I'm getting hooked up. Man. This dude's hooking me up. Oh, well, let's see here. What about guilds? 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 Where's the free guilds? Here we go. Yes. Fighters Guild. Thank you, sir. Man, this dude's. This dude's like the mayor or something. He knows everything. Usually. NPCs don't know everything like this, so I'm getting hooked up. Knights of the Dragon, that's the... That's the Knights for Daggerfall, I guess. I don't know, that's like some, a subsidiary of the Blades or something like that. But they serve the royal family of Daggerfall, so... <clears throat> but there's not the orders for each province, so... Different ones, so I can... There's, there's some variations in them, I don't know what they are, but yeah, just throwing that out there. So what's next? Let's see here. Clothing stores, yeah. We'll go there. Now this dude, he knows everything. What else? The general stores. Let's see here. That's it. This dude. He does. He does not. Like. Seriously, I've never. Never met an NPC. He knows where every single thing is. Who the frick. Is this dude. Okay, what else? Wait. Uh, Sleep. Holy crap. Good luck with this one, buddy. He's gonna he's not gonna know some of this stuff. Holy shit. He knows him. He knows him. Come on man. Just mark it on my map. Come on. There you go. King is good. Dungeon. Man, this dude. What's up? The white dog. Oh, interesting. No, that. You don't know where it is. Uh-huh. Still pretty good, man. One for what, whatever that was. That's a lot of fruit. Ah, that's two of them. Who cares? Three. Still a lot of stuff. You're a very, very knowledgeable fellow. I mean, very knowledgeable fellow. Okay, so we got, we got tons of stuff now on the map. So we can go to a, go to a pawn shop and start selling stuff. But we need to go to the, 
That's probably gonna be, they're all gonna be up here in this little square right here. Usually how smithies are. They're all bunched up. Yeah, see, look. There's one right there. I think there's one right here. Yeah. Where's the... Where's the dude with the weapons? That's what I want. I want the weapon shop. There's three, right? Two blacksmiths and one weaponsmith. Thing, right? Oh, it's... Yeah, it looks like there's just two of them. Unless those are like... Okay, two armories and a weapon smith right there. Okay. Very good. Very good. This way. This way. Run like the wind, boy. So that's how you explore the town. She got the keep. You got quests in here. What it does is it makes the province like you. And they'll give you some cool stuff. But you gotta... You gotta get them to like you before they'll start doing that. So like, join the night order and stuff. And then you can talk to the Lord. Sometimes they're part of a quest. Like, you gotta clean out them. There's like a mad imp in the castle and you gotta clean it out and stuff so but it's cool like you can explore them they're pretty cool well keeps every province has them that aren't the main ones in the game like Daggerfall and Wayrest and stuff like that so that's the weapon shop blacksmith's over there somewhere start selling some stuff ah oh, shit See that? Means it's the best shop in town. Means he's not gonna give me shit for nothing. So we're gonna go straight off to the other one. Yes, that's right, because we're friggin' thrifty shoppers. Yep, this dude's friggin' awesome too, man. Seriously? This town. I'm gonna move to this town. Yes, it's like when you repair your stuff, those are the shops you want to repair it at. Plus, they have the best stuff, so like, if I wanted to cheat, all I'd have to do was just go into that um, shop and just sit there and wait. Like, you can like, you can like loiter, just loiter until it closes. And it's like, I think the dude unspawns, but even if he doesn't, all you gotta do is save it and reload, and he will not be in the shop, and then you just like loot all the stuff. So it's just like, it's a way to get hooked up in this game. But like, I don't do it. It's cheating. Look at that man, that looks freaking crazy. Nice and smooth and pretty. It actually looks like wood. Crazy. Look at that. Friggin' awesome. That is friggin' awesome. Oh yes. Oh yes, just what I'm talking about. Give me your money. Yes, I got the best stuff here. Money can buy. It's worth every penny. You're gonna enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. Yes, you are, sir. Look at that, 130 30 bucks. How much is it gonna give me? Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It's so, like you sell stuff one at a time because it's gonna make your skill go up faster. So, yeah. And we don't want this sword right 
2 to 16 versus... Ooh, what's this? I don't want that. It's that other one. Ah, uh, it's not in my wagon. Okay, we'll just get rid of all this stuff. Although... I just want to check this out. Yeah, see, it's better. So, yeah. Sell that. Sell you. Give me the money. Look at that. Mm. This dude's just like dishing it out, man. Look at that. Getting some good deals, buddy. Good deals right here. I don't like that head anyways. Look at that. I want bucks for that. Freaking awesome. 77 bucks. That's a good sword, dude. You get you get a good deal there. Look at those pants. One of a kind of pants. Just for you. Look at that, 107 bucks. That's you get a bargain, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. 200 bucks almost. Yes. You're getting hooked. You are getting hooked. That's just gonna give me a load of money for this thing. Hopefully. Huh? Maybe not. Yeah, I can't wear chain. It's forbidden. Forbidden for my class. I don't like chain. Yes. Give me all money. Look at that dude. Next stop, a horse. And a bunch of cool spells. What? What? Seriously? Can I equip that thing? I'm gonna try and equip it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Out. That's a cool looking hat. I think I can wear that. I cannot wear that. Go away. Two of them. Aha. So this one's chain, I think. Bye. To you. Bye. Yeah. Axes are forbidden for my class. So. Yes, that's right. Let's see if I can put this hat on real quick. Yes, I got a new hat. And I got tons of junk in my inventory still too, so I've got more stuff for you to buy, buddy. I don't know, that hat looks cool, but like it sucks. So we're getting rid of it. I mean that's it. Oh that's right. I can only sell this stuff at the stall. So that's that's how you do that. Let's see what he's got for sale. Cause it's gonna be cheap. No, damn you, damn you. That's too much. That's just too much. That's freaking awesome. Already. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, kind of like those ones better, but I ain't spending my money. Or you can't sell this sh shirt. Why can't I sell this shirt? Oh, okay. Because I was wearing it. I want to try and get better armor here. Looks like it's elven, silver, steel, chain. Stop with the freaking chain, man. So, yeah, the only thing these dudes are good for is selling stuff. When you repair your stuff, you want to go to the expensive guy because he's going to fix it quicker and he's going to fix it better. So that's where we're going now. 
see how much it costs to fix my sword. See how long it takes, because <clears throat> I'm gonna spend like a couple days getting spells and stuff, and, which I will not subject you to. Just, just like a preliminary run through. Show you guys this stuff. Let's go in here and sell some shit. Nah, it's not too bad. A little stemming, give me some good stuff. sell my stuff here, and I ain't gonna get shit for this stuff anyways. It ain't worth, it ain't worth crap. Not worth crap. You cheated me. It's a friggin' shirt. I don't want you talking about. Huh. I don't think I like either one of these books. But I wanna keep them because I can sell them for a lot of money. I just want to see if he's got Khajiit suit. Real quick. Cause I need to get one. It's cold. They keep me warm. This, this price is horse too. Let's see what the horse. So the horse has the advantages of not using stamina. So like if you're in town and you're using your horse, you're not going to burn stamina. So that's, that's why you get a horse. It ain't just to be cool and to look cool. It actually friggin' has a, it has a, like it does something. 1300, that's not too bad for a horse. That's not too bad. I think I'll look around a bit though. I'll keep you in my thoughts, buddy. Plus one. I think the only horses they have have gravings, but I'm gonna try and search for a different one, because I just feel like it. I feel like they all got gray manes. It's like, ooh. I've always wanted a pair. I always, I always get these friggin' boots, man. Uh, and they even give you, like, armor, too. Like, it's, like, one or something. Like, three. Same as my leather boots. So, like, I don't even need those leather boots. And these ones you don't repair. So, like... Hmm. Should I get a cape as well? I kind of feel like a red cape, though. Red cape. Not a gray cape. Sir, well done. Got some boots. I like the boots better. They look cool, dude. I've actually always wanted a pair of these boots. They're freaking cool looking. They are cool looking. Look again. Look at that. I want those boots for reals to wear at the mall and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Just like go to the skating rink and hang out those boots and be an individual and, like just wear a loincloth with like nothing else that'd be fucking awesome anyways so yeah nothing here what that's it that's the worst supply of stuff I've ever seen in my life no I like my shield better thank you Dwarven Mace, anyone? That looks like a silver sword right there. Elven, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Nice, nice. What's an iron bow? Steel, interesting. Dwarven, 
staff. I've never seen a dwarf staff before. Nothing. Hmm. So, let's see how much it is to fix my sword. Where's my sword? Aha! How about this shield? That's ah, all working. Okay, we're just gonna sell those boots to you then, because we don't like them. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. This bow, too. I don't like this bow. Freaking sucks. Okay, so it's worth 76. How much is it gonna give me? Not even half. So it's not that much, but like with with when you're selling expensive stuff, it makes a difference. Or if you're selling like a wagon load of crap, you're gonna get rich if you if you go to the to the the dude who's got the bad store. Like you're gonna you're gonna bank like big time, so just keep that in mind. Don't just go to the store and sell your shit, you know. Look around. Okay, let's go here. So none of my stuff is broke, so I can buy a new weapon. Hmm. The possibilities. Ooh, look, a bow. Yay. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, make bows. The, uh... What is it? Uh, unusable weapon type, or whatever it's called. Because I want to do bows with this guy. So, like, it's just armor shit. I mean, it's just iron shit. That's it. That's all he's got. I think that's like a freaking silver axe right here. Huh. That's a mighty fun like a bow. How much for the bow? 400. <laughs> Whatever. Screw you, man. You're just. You're a horrible businessman. You know that? Horrible friggin' businessman. That's right. I hit him, the guards would come, so I'm not gonna do it just cause, like, yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah, so. Okay, let's see. This should be the clothing store right here. Let's see if we can get us Kajitsu. Come on, baby. I know you got one. Just give me a Kajitsu. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. What I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, how about some a cool looking cape to go along with this? Yeah, I'm starting to, it's starting to come together. My wardrobe is coming together now. Slowly but surely. Practices, dude. It's a freaking clothing store, man. What are you doing? There's, there's a stupid looking cape. Yeah, I don't like those fur ones. Well, that's it. He's got nothing. He's got no capes. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. A pox on the. Actually, 
actually sell some stuff at pawn shop. What was the name of that pawn shop? Uh, that's it. Antiques. Yes, the antique store. Everybody loves going into the antique store. This one has like crystal balls and stuff, man. Like this ain't this ain't the kind of antique store you go to to get lamps and stuff. This is like freaking sacrificial daggers and stuff. So like, yeah, freaking awesome place to shop, man. You gotta have. Got up places like this nowadays. Gyms and mummy wrappings. And all sorts of interesting little doohickeys that you don't find in the real world. See, that's the pawn shop symbol, I believe. This could be the apothecary shop. But no, it's pawn shop. Well, this may have a cape. They sometimes have good stuff in pot shops. Sometimes. So look, pictures. Friggin' wrist cuffs. See, these are the things you like enchant. You can enchant that thing. It's like a bracer or something. Friggin I don't know what the freak it is. Probably a bracer. A cape. Give me a cape. You enchant. You can enchant that stuff. I you know I got still that stuff on my wagon, so I'm selling something here. You enchant that. It's like a piece of leather, or oh, bracer, whatever. Interesting. You can enchant all sorts of stuff. So that's what this store is. You get. You get stuff to enchant stuff, and it looks crazy. Freaking awesome. Look at that, dude. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Freaking cool, man. Cool stuff. Let's see if you got a secret chest. Some of them have secret. Secret chests. Nope. No secret chest here. Okay, how much will you give me for my chunk? Oops, wrong button. Looks pretty damn serious, man. I don't know. Come on, man. Buy some stuff. That's all you want is books. 1,000 bucks? Really? Holy shit. Damn. Why does he want to give me a thousand bucks for? I don't like this. Since it's only worth 684 bucks. <sighs> what? Costs? I... How much this dude's gonna give me? Jeez. Freaking dudes love books, man. What? the frick is this? What kind of book is this thing? Let's, let's take a look at this book real quick, man. Oops. A pretty important book. What the, where was that all that stuff coming from? Oh, the wagon. It's in the wagon. Okay. Oh, um, he only wants the book. Dang it! I'm gonna sell you that other stuff, man. Let's let's see what this book says. Okay, that's interesting. I don't feel like we're being on a silly. 
I'll find it again, I'm sure, so I'm not too worried. Goodbye, book. Hello, money. Look at that, 5,000 bucks. So now I can, like, get a horse. Let's see if he's got a horse. No, no horse is here. So I can get a horse, get all my spells. Just from hitting up a couple dungeons. Start training my stuff up. And I'll be ready to go. Cause that's what I need to do. I need to train my skills. Guys, man. And I gotta get friggin' werewolf eyes because, like, I'm. I made him, like, uh. What is it? Critically. Critically. Critical weakness to disease was so away. So, like, if you become a werewolf, you get immune to disease, so it kind of cancels it out. So, it's a good way to. It's like in this game, when you're making your own skills, or your own classes, you can add advantages, but then you have to put disadvantages. Otherwise, it's gonna make your level gain, like, extremely hard, or you're not gonna get as many hit points, so you gotta even it out with bad effects. So once I become a werewolf, it's gonna mitigate that bad effect. So that's good. gonna look better when it's not winter. It's just cause it's all the frick something just spawn. So that's why it does that. Cool, the mage's guild is right by this shop too. Let's go ahead and identify the shop. And it's a cheap mages guild, sweet. Join guild, yes, I will, thank you. Now, will you identify my crap for me? I need to identify this junk. So everything here is gonna be cheap, so there's a pretty good guild right here. Cause everything's gonna be cheap. It's good to have the same stuff that the guilds have. So yeah, good, good spot. Good little town. Start my adventure. No, I don't want to talk to you. I think it's this, this chick with like this glowing blue orb thing. Where the frig is she, man? You just get like this blowing blue orb thing. Nope, it's him. So it's different in every guild, apparently. Thirty-seven. That's freaking cheap, dude. I hope it's good. What is it? Shocking, so it casts shock. So it's like a, so it's like a scroll, but you can just keep using it until it like runs out of charges. That's that's how that works. Where the frick? Okay. Here we go. Equipped it. So it only works, you have to use it, so, yeah. It's kind of useless. I'm not going to use it, so I'll just sell it. So yeah, that's, uh, my baby steps in a brave new world. And just showing off how you can make it look. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it looks good for you. Like, I think it looks cool. And I love this game, so I'm just gonna 
play the freaking crap out of it. Good old Daggerfall right here. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this thing. Like I said, enjoy Daggerfall.